The recent string of earthquakes that have been hitting the Pacific Rim of Fire, corresponding to the increasing solar activity that we've seen with the coronal mass ejections, should remind those of us along the West Coast, particularly in the United States, that we are due for one of the major earthquakes that has hit the other nations of the Rim of Fire, Japan, New Zealand, Chile, and other areas that have got, uh, experienced these types of earthquakes, which are forecastable. We have the science to forecast these seismic events. What we lack is the instrumentation, both here on the, on the ground and in the, the satellites that give us the relevant precursor data concerning changes in the ionosphere, changes in the electromagnetic spectrum. Now, those satellites are being taken out of the sky by an Obama administration who says that this is being done under the guise of budget cuts. This is wrong. Obama is taking these satellites out of the sky because he is against science. He is an adherent to the oligarchical principle which says that mankind cannot and should not know about the universe in which we live. And so this is also the reason that he has ended the manned mission to space, the Constellation program, the related programs. And for this, he should be thrown out of office, in addition to being thrown out for attempting to start thermonuclear World War III and the fascist police state measures of the National Defense Authorization Act. So he must go. I'd like to read you something coming from Ben Franklin, which, which shows some insight into this. Uh, Franklin already, to, over 250 years ago, had a fairly well-developed conception of the, uh, what we would today call the global electric circuit. And he had a whole idea about how the, the relationship of cloud formation to the, the electric field that surrounded the, the Earth. Um, there was other insights into the, this being mediated all the way through to the, to the sun. But he had this whole idea on how this uh, global electric circuit worked, even worked, relatively worked out well back then. But I want to read you this, which gives you an insight into how he was thinking of earthquakes. This is actually from uh, Causes of Earthquakes, the Pennsylvania Gazette of 1737. And in it, he says this. He says, Thunder, which is the effect of the trembling of the air, caused by the same vapors dispersed through it, has force enough to shake our houses. And why, and why may not there be thunder and lightning underground? In some vast repositories there, I see no reason, especially if we reflect that the matter which composes the noisy vapor above us is in much larger quantities underground. So he already has this idea of uh, the, uh, what we see in the electric field and, and above ground maybe even being mediated underneath and that this is the, potentially the cause of earthquakes. So the point is, this is already back then on its way to being a, for, a forecastable event. But, and this is what Ben Franklin represented, was the scientific and intellectual tradition of the United States. And so this is what Obama has rejected, in addition to rejecting the Constitution that Ben Franklin helped set up. So this is what we must restore, is we must restore science to the American uh, system that, that, that this must become the core of statecraft again as it was under Franklin and as it is now under what we're doing with the national slate of LaRouche Democrats that we are bringing science back as a national policy as the national policy under the leadership of LaRouche who is today's modern Ben Franklin so so this is what we must do we must gain the insight and get this the uh, launch a Mars mission as the, the key driver program, which is going to give us the capability of understanding how this solar system operates. It's going to uh, understand that the, the space that we think of is not empty. It is not the empty space of Newton. It is the space of Kepler and Leibniz that is uh, f filled with this, this electromagnetic uh, domain. So this is what people must join the slate of LaRouche Democrats in restoring the scientific tradition of what Franklin and company represented. And that means that Obama must go immediately. Get him out, avoid these wars where, where we face, launch Glass-Steagall, bring back the credit system, and launch this mission to Mars as the, the driver program that will re restore uh, mankind's existence in the universe.